you always uh, happy to get Player of the Week. It's, I think it's a, a huge accomplishment. You know, with, um, with like I say, uh, every time. I mean, when I have brothers that you know take pride in the unit as I do, it makes it really uh, easy for me to you know return the ball. And as we went back and watched film, I kind of knew I saw what I could have did different, which was uh, probably could have cut back inside mm -hmm. and uh, scored it, but. Uh, I mean, it was nice to, you know, get a good kick return and a good punt return. And just as the same as kick return, uh, the punt return team uh, really takes pride in uh, me returning the ball, and I really appreciate them when they, you know, set the block. So, I mean, we all go out and feel with a lot of confidence in both units, which makes it really easy. It was, we, you know, we run it every, every day in practice, and, uh, you know, Brett kind of threw it to a spot, which I really knew the spot was going to be. Um, and as I was running, I didn't see the guy standing there. And uh, I mean, the ball was kind of high, and I kind—I I really thought it was going to be over my head. But I just jumped and, you know, somehow kept my eyes on it and came down with it. I surprised myself. I mean, my teammates were talking about how, how high I jumped, but I didn't really know until I saw a picture that they had. Mm -hmm. that, uh, my height is an advantage, and sometimes could be a disadvantage in some people's eyes. Uh, but I know when I train that I have to train faster. Um, I kind of try to stay low to the ground as I move because uh, it's kind of hard to tell guys moving low and, and fast. So uh, a guy like Malik, he's you know he's a huge target, uh, great hands, great player, great overall player. Uh, he's going to come along very, very you know good for us this season. So um, me on the other hand, we're just you know different players. So he has his advantages, I have mine. <laughs> You talked about building a lot of confidence on Thursday. How important is it that you do it this Saturday and next Saturday and then all the way down the line? You know, we train all, all winter, all the summer. Um, and, I mean, preparation, for, in my eyes, brings confidence. You know, if you prepare for the task, um, I mean, you, you go out to the field confident because you know the plays, you know exactly what to expect. Um, we do a lot of film study, and uh, every week we just want to go out and build on that and get better. And, you can always learn from the last game, but we always want to focus on the next game. What are you expecting out of the racers just because they had the opposite kind of a game that you all had? You had the shutout win, and they only had a field goal against uh, Illinois, so you know they probably want to come out and, and make a statement, right? Yeah, um, I mean, I do expect them to come out with a chip on their shoulders just because of, um, they're trying to get a victory just like we are. So I know they're a very fast-paced um, team, and we are too, so it should be a good game. And, I think it'll come down to who's in better shape and who's more prepared. How big of an impact, you know, we talked about the summer work and, and everybody being here and working out together and that. How big has that been both for you and for the team? Uh, for the team, it's huge because it takes 11 guys on the field at one time. It's not just one person, so it was really big for us to do it all together and work. What about for you personally? Uh, it helped me a lot. Just being with the guys, they push me a lot. I have a lot of teammates who will push you through anything, so it was good. The racers had the, the two first possessions were turnovers, so how important is it going to be for this line to get the penetration, to get pressure on this quarterback and make him make another mistake? Uh, it's going to be huge. We're going to need everybody uh, this Saturday, so it's going, to take a, it's going to take all of us. You showed signs last year, you know, toward the end of coming on and making big plays and being able to step up. You know, what have you improved on and, and shown improvements from last year to this year? Uh, just taking coaching, really, and working better with my teammates because without them, we couldn't do anything. How good did, uh, you know, compared to last season, how good did Thursday night feel? And, you know, was it tough to, to abide by the 24-hour rule? Uh, no, it's not tough at all because we, we know the rules and we just, we've all bought into the, to the system, so it wasn't tough at all. Looking over the tape, what did you see and what do you think of your performance and your performance? Uh, honestly, yeah, I'm not really worried about my performance. Uh, I mean, looking back, um, I felt like as a group we knew what we, we did what we were supposed to do. Um, that's really just what was expected of us uh, to score. It's expected of us, nothing out of the ordinary for us. Um, uh, the only thing that we can look back at is tweak and mark a few things and move from there. Zach so talked a lot about how you've kind of matured, at least this year. You redshirted your freshman year. How big was that redshirt freshman year for you? Uh, I, mean, I know it was a different coaching staff and all that stuff, but you did redshirt that year in college football. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a big step for me, um, honestly. The, uh, I needed to put on some weight when I first got here. Um, I needed to mature as a person. Um, honestly, that redshirt year uh, really means nothing now because um, 
just between last year and this year, uh, I feel uh, myself, I feel like I've matured a lot. I mean, anytime you learn a new offense, it's tough in the beginning, but, um, you know, as the season progresses, as the summer progresses, uh, I mean, you get, you get a good handle of it. So, I mean, um, I feel like really you just got to be dedicated to getting into the playbook and uh, the shows on the field. You made a lot of plays kind of in and out of the pocket, extending plays and stuff like that. How hard do you have to work at that? Or is that kind of your knack and that's kind of who you are as a quarterback? Uh, I mean, that's that's my type of play. But, I mean, also you have to work at it just like you do with everything else. I mean, honestly, uh, um, I mean, we have plays designed for me to roll out of the pocket. We have plays designed for me to stay in the pocket. I mean, um, just when stuff breaks down, you have to be a playmaker and make stuff happen. Do you, do you gain more confidence as it kind of as it kind of moves forward? I mean, are you more comfortable now than you were last year running this offense? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, anytime anytime you spend uh, time in a certain offense, you want to play work and work with your teammates. So I mean, you, you gain confidence. Um, uh, I think that you know, as a team, that we've gained so much confidence between this year and last year that I mean, it's like night and day. I talked, asked Dion the question, but how important is it that you keep building upon this confidence, maybe not hit a plateau, but just to, to keep knowing your receivers, to know the plays, to keep getting these wins under your belt to um, move forward. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's everything. I mean, uh, you focus like we did last week, and uh, I mean, we're already starting to prepare for Murray's Day, obviously, but um, you know. The more you focus, the more you prepare, you know, you're only going to be that much more confident when you step out on the field. What do you see out of Murray State? Uh, I mean, they're aggressive. I mean, we expect that from them. Um, you know, definitely after the, the game they had last week, you know, you can only expect them to come out with the chip on their shoulder and play as hard as they can. Was it easy, though, to see kind of what the Illini were able to do against them and then kind of knowing that you can add that to your game or just the coverage or just seeing the line I score on them, I guess I should say. I mean, it's your job easier? Uh, I mean, you can take bits and pieces of what uh, Illinois use against them, but then again, they're a different, they are a different team than we are. We use different schemes and stuff like that. So, I mean, uh, yeah, you can take bits and pieces from them, but, you know, we're still on the team.